from a performance point of view, I think you've always got to start with really understanding what it is you're trying to aim for and, and trying to get as much information as possible about what winning looks like. And for the athletes, they need to be aligned insofar as they're committed, in turn, needing driven towards the goal, because everybody wants the goal. It's actually the commitment to the work required and what it takes to win, if you like. So in our case, we established the individual rider goals to start with. What do they want to achieve? How do they want to achieve it? You really get part of their life and you're helping them to achieve big goals. Because you've got to train hard, you've got to do hard yards to be able to win these events. It's at the heart of everything we think about, to be honest. There are various individuals with obvious goals. You know, Chris would like to win his fifth uh, Tour de France and, and Geraint surely would like to go back and defend his first, as it were. Um, and then we've got uh, riders like uh, young Egan, uh, Bernal, who's developed fantastically well last year and it'd be great to see his continued development and progression. We build up a picture of what each of the races look like, what the motivations are for, for all of our key riders who are, who are going to win races for us, and the other riders who are either developing or are support riders for, for the performers, for the winners. So we, we start to gather all that information and put it together and that's done with Dave Brailsford um, leading the team with Rod Ellingworth as the performance director and then with the coaches and the sports directors. And a lot of what I do is about planning for the future. I've always sort of done that pretty well or that's been my sort of forte in a, in a way. The, the sports directors all being ex-pros obviously have a really good understanding of, of what it's going to take to perform in, the, in those races. I'm always sort of looking three, four, five months ahead. We have to stay ahead of the curve. We're not looking at the challenges that we have. We have to keep working hard. We're only doing what everyone's going to be doing in a couple of years' time, and so we need to keep thinking one step ahead. I think last year we, we had 260-odd um, days of racing. I can pretty much guarantee that 230 days of the year, our riders were warming down on kickers in front of everybody. Things like warming up and, and warming down in particular after stages, it's not rocket science, but no one was doing it. When we first started that sort of 2011, it was really sort of not done in professional cycling. And now everyone does it. G's journey took him from being a track rider to a one day racer. Um, to a one-week stage racer, and now to um, to, a th to a Grand Tour winner. Geraint Thomas has used the the kicker specifically um, to increase peak power. We recognised for him to make that to, to be able to make that progression, he was going to need to continue to develop his power. Um, and this was a couple of years ago. You know, it's part of his long-term development. Because it was it was pretty good but it wasn't where it needed to be to win the tour. It's really hard to do on the road. Um, you can do it on the road out training but I think you know you're more guaranteed to get the work done if you're in one place, you're stationary and you really concentrate on that effort. We now spend as much time reflecting and reviewing our successes to see what, what worked and but what could be better for next time to make sure that we don't get complacent and and stagnate. I'm not sure complacency fits in, in, in elite sport really, I just don't think people are complacent in elite sport. You might get a little bit comfortable, you know you've got something in your back pocket, it's there, you've got it, it's not going to go away and you've got it. You know this year we've got the fantastic situation to be in, to have one guy who's won four Tour de France who wants to win his fifth and the defending champion who wants to, wants to win his second. We identify what we're going to need and, and what it's going to take to win, basically. We're trying to achieve excellence and, and how you continue to achieve that. <laughs>